everybody! Welcome back to Crafting with Kelsey. My name is Kelsey. I'm a rec programmer at the city of Flin Flon, and I am so excited to be crafting with you today. Today, we are going to be making kept pencil cases, okay? including a little tail, you have face details, okay? and optionally, you can even add the little ears, which I'll talk about later. Okay. This is so cute and very practical, right? You can keep all your pencils neat and tidy. So, let's get started. Alright you guys, before we get started, I just want to mention that you are going to need some glue. I'm using a hot glue gun, just because this is the fastest way, and it's going to give you a more secure bond right away. Uh, but you can do it with any glue, it just might take a little more patience. You might also have to let your, you know, layers dry before you continue wrapping. Okay. So if you got a glue gun, let it warm up, and I'll meet you at the next step. Alrighty guys, my hot glue gun is ready to go. Uh, so what I've done is I've grabbed my jar. You could empty it out first, doesn't really matter though, so I've just left mine in. And I've grabbed my rope. So the first step is you want to decide how long your t you want your tail to be. I'm going to use the other side of my rope for the tail just because that side has a kink in it. So I decided I think I want my tail to be about this long. And you're going to decide which way you want the tail to curve. It's kind of hard once you have uh, already got it going to change which way the rope goes. Okay. So I want my tail to curve out, so I'm going to start with it like this. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a very small line of hot glue right at the bottom, and now it will start the wrap of my rope. Please, please, please be very careful if you are using a hot glue gun. Right? I don't want anyone to accidentally burn yourself. talking about making my tail curve out, I left it curving in. Not a big deal. Okay. So I've kind of let this dry a second with my hot glue gun. It's already pretty stuck on there. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to add some more. And I'm going to keep wrapping along the bottom of the jar. Okay. I'm pushing as I go to make sure it sticks. But I'm making sure not to touch any hot glue, okay? Being very careful not to burn myself. Okay, full transparency, guys. I used a lot of glue to make this stick. I yeah, added a whole bunch to the bottom. And I went all the way around the rim. A couple times, actually. But it was worth it because now this is sturdy and it's not going to come undone while I am wrapping the rest. And it gets easier from here. So I'm going to continue from the base of the tail and I'm going to start the second layer. I'm just going to go along like that all the way around. Okay. I'm going to try my best to do this so you can see. One thing about these mini glue guns is they run out of glue really fast and you're constantly having to stick another one in. Okay, so a decent amount of glue, squishing it down. Squishing it down is important so you don't get gaps in between your layers. Just going to keep going a little bit at a time. Make sure you're not touching the hot glue when it's still hot. I'm just squishing it in place. Like I said, the bottom layer is the hardest layer. It gets easier and easier and easier. 
So you're gonna feel like you've done it way too many times. You're just gonna keep rotating. When you get to the tail, make sure you're still going on top. We always want the tail to stick by our bottom layer. He's in the way. So the reason I'm doing little sections is so that the glue has time to dry a little bit before I move on to the next section and put stress on it. But also so that I don't have to be hurried in my wrapping, right? Because if you were to just do a big string of glue, you might not have enough time to push it into the spot where you really want it before the glue is dry and will no longer accept something sticking to it. Okay, and you would just keep going and keep going. Endless loop. It's quite boring so I'm going to do this all off camera and I'll meet you back when it's done. Alrighty everyone, as you can see I'm all done wrapping. What I did here is I cut off the end kind of at a diagonal and I glued it right into place. One thing that you could do, which I opted out of uh, because of the type of glue I was using, is you could put, um, instead of wrapping this last layer tight, you can leave two loops to create the ears. Another thing I consider that you could do is this is how much rope I had left at the end. What I did is I unraveled it, so this is one strand of the braid. And you could just glue it on the inside of the jar, right, to create two ears. I did put the lid back on because I like the silver, but you could totally display it like this as well. So now our cat is all covered. Next up, we're going to be adding the face. So what I have here is the contents of the jar you were given, and these are the elements of our face. So you'll have two black or blackish buttons. These are going to be the pupils of our eyes. You'll have a smaller pink button. This is going to be your nose. You'll have one little bit of string cord type thing. We're going to be cutting this in half to get two whiskers. And this is going to be the whites of the cat's eye. Okay, so I'm going to start off with making the whites of the cat's eye for myself because I know I'm not great at cutting two things the same. I'm folding it in half. Okay, this way I'll make one cut and both my eyes will turn out the same. Okay, so I'm just going to sketch a general eye shape. Your eye can look like however you want. It could be big, it could be small, it could be circular. Right? And you can kind of take your button and visualize how it will look when it was done. You can make it bigger or smaller, whatever you like. Now I'm just going to reach off camera and grab my scissors. And I'm going to cut. Mine are connected because I didn't do quite a great job cutting. So I'm just going to separate them. And these will be my eyes. Throw out the scraps. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to glue the pupil buttons onto the eyes. This is just going to make our life easier when we go to connect the eyes. 
hot glue gun does not want to reach. Just a little dot. And push it on. A lot of the buttons are different on one side than the other. So make sure you're looking and deciding which side you want to go. If it's a button that has like more of a hollow back, like this one, I didn't think that stuck very well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add more glue. Get it on there. There we go. Don't worry about any strings or anything like that. We will clean that off later. Okay, now I'm gonna switch and glue the other button. Careful when you're pushing the buttons down, because hot glue might come up through the middle. I would actually suggest using something that isn't gonna hurt if it touches hot glue, like this pencil. And there we have it. My eyes are ready to be attached. Okay, now I'm gonna take this cord here and I'm gonna cut it right in half. This will make two whiskers, so it'll cross like this. Uh, but you could cut them into more pieces if you wanted more whiskers. Okay, so less up, we're going to attach them to our I'm going to lay mine down just for the sake of you guys being able to see it. And I'm going to kind of visualize where I want everything. It's always nice to have a plan before you actually start. Okay, like, how far down do you want the eyes? You want them to have a little face with it down on the bottom, middle, or up at the top. Totally up to you. Okay. So I'm going to visualize mine about there. And you can grab your nose. Visualize that as well. Of course, this is totally optional. You can just go straight to gluing them on. But I like to visualize first. Okay. I'm going to start with my eyes once again. Okay. For this, I'm putting glue in the middle. I'm also putting some around the edges just so we don't get any weird sticky upness. I'm gonna stick it right on. Pushing it down, being careful not to burn ourselves. Myself, I guess. And one thing to consider when you're deciding the placement of the face is where the tail is. Okay. I'm gonna take my other eye that right on. Same way, I'm going to go big blob in the middle, kind of an outline around. Be very careful not to burn ourselves out like that. Be more careful than me. Okay. Push it on. Kind of check that out while the glue is still tacky. Make some minor adjustments.
also do this by gluing this part to the button first. Uh, now that I'm kind of going, I wish that is what I had done. But we're here now, and we're going to power through. Okay. I'm being picky. You guys don't have to be this picky, right? Okay, so I'm holding it down. I'm putting a good dollop of glue in the middle. I'm going to take my button and glue it on. Once again, it might be smarter to use something that doesn't hurt if it gets hot glue on it. And there it is. Super cute. Thank you so much for crafting with me today. I hope your guys has turned out just as cute as mine did. Um, until next time, stay home, stay safe.